right, so in 4.9, uh, we're looking at modeling quadratic functions. And so something we've never really looked at is that, you know how slope, if you have two points, um, you can find slope, and, or if you even have a point and a y-intercept, you can write a line, linear equation or a line. Well, we actually can do that with quadratics. And so what we're going to use today, we're going to use the formula y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. So we're going to be still using that formula. That is our vertex form formula. And we're going to use that because we're going to be given a vertex and a point. All right, so we're going to be given a vertex and a point. Well, you know, if we're getting a vertex, I can plug that to my formula, can I not? I can say y equals a times x minus 0, because that's my h. This is my h. This is my k squared plus 0, right? That's my k. Well, my point is going to be my x, y. So when I fill that out, for every x and y, I fill that out. I get 4 equals a times x. Well, I know x, right? So x can be 2 minus 0 squared plus 0. All right, well, if I go and simplify that, I get 4 equals a times 2 squared plus 0. I don't need to add that. Then I get 4 equals 4 times a. Well, how do I get a alone? All right, well, if I want to get a alone, I divide each side by 4. So I end up getting 4 divided by 4 equals a fancy 1 equals a. So when I want to fill out my formula, I now have a. Our point for this whole thing, and I want you to write a note, is to find A, right? You want to find A using your vertex and point. So using vertex and point. That is our whole entire goal because we can't actually write this equation, as you notice, without A. So once we find A, we can actually rewrite the equation to Y equals 1 times x minus 0 squared plus 0, or we can just say y equals x squared once it's simplified. All right, so let's try it again. Let's try for number 2. If we have a vertex and a point, we want to write a line that is through the point using the vertex um, or quadratic. So again, we're going to label this is going to be my h, this is my k, this is my x and y. So I can just fill everything out. My y is 5, and that equals, well, a, we don't know a, and it's going to be x, which is 4, right, minus h, which is 2, squared, and then plus k, which is a 1. So I get 5 equals a times 4 minus 2 squared plus 1. That's going to be 5 equals, well, a, 4 minus 2 is 2 squared plus 1. So I get 5 equals... 4a plus 1. Well, now i got to get a alone. So I'm going to subtract 1 from each side. I get 4 equals 4a. And then what's a going to be? Well, I have to get a alone. Divide each side by 4. I end up getting a equals 1. So if I want to rewrite this into an equation, that's going to be f of x, or y if you want to use that, f of x equals... 1 times x, now we're going to use our vertex, minus 2 squared, and then plus 1. And so if you simplify it more, you would get uh, 1, not 1 anymore, but you would just have x minus 2 squared plus 1. All right, so when it says write a quadratic function in intercept form, well, we know intercept form. Instead of it being y equals a times x minus h, isn't it going to be y, oh, that's not what I wanted. Isn't it going to be y equals uh, x minus p times x minus q, right? And so our p and q are our intercepts. And what we're going to do is there's, gonna, there's an a right here. And again, we're trying to find that a. We're trying to find a and the value of that. So that's our main goal. Well, if we're looking at number one, it says our x-intercepts are two and three, and our point is uh, four, two. So we're gonna label this as our p, this is our q, this is our x, and this is our y, right? Those are our intercepts and our uh, point. So I'm just gonna fill it in. If I were just to have the intercepts, it's gonna be a times x minus two, 
right, times x minus 3. But I actually know the values of my x's and I know the values of my y. So I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to get 2 equals, I don't know a, but I do know x. I'm going to have 4 minus 2 times 4 minus 3. All right, and now we just simplify. I have 2 equals a, well, 4 minus 2 is 2, 4 minus 3 is 1. So I get 2 equals, well, 2 times 1 is going to be 2. So I have 2 equals 2a. Well, how do you get a alone? You divide each side by 2. So you get a equals 2 over 2 is just a fancy 1. So if I were to actually rewrite this, right, just using my intercepts, my formula is going to be y equals, it's going to be 1 times x minus 2 times x minus 3. And that's it in intercept form. And that's all you're doing. You're plugging in your intercepts and plugging in your point. So let's try the next one. Let's try number 6. Don't want to do that. Let's try number 6. So number 6, I again have two x-intercepts and I have 0.611. So I'm going to say this is going to be my p, this is going to be my q, this is going to be my x, and this is going to be my y. So if I'm filling it out just normally, right, with using my x-intercepts, I have x minus a negative 5, and then I'm going to have x minus a 5. Well, uh, and I still have my a, can't forget that. I'm going to have y equals a times x plus 5, and then x minus 5. Now I want to fill out my x and y, and I know that, right? I have my x and I have my y. So my y is 11, so I have 11 equals a times 5 plus, oh, not 5, it is 6 plus 5, and then times 6 minus 5. Well, I have 11 equals a, 6 plus 5 is 11, and then 6 minus 5 is actually a 1. If I were to simplify that more, I have 11 equals a times 11 times 1, that just gives you 11a, right? 11 times 1 is 1, and then I just still have my a. So how do I get a alone? I divide each side by 11. So I have 11 divided by 11 and 11a divided by 11. These cross out. I get a fancy 1 for my a. So now if I am going to rewrite my formula, I'm going to have y equals, again, you can use f of x. It does not matter. I'm going to have y equals 1 times x plus 5. I do not like how that is written. It's going to be 1 times x plus 5 and then x minus 5. And that is your final answer answer so what i want you guys to actually do i want you guys to go ahead and cross off um number eight number nine and number ten i'm not going to ask you guys to rewrite it in uh standard form and go ahead and cross out number 11 but go ahead and turn to page number 36 and we're just going to be writing formulas and it's going to be i'm just going to choose something that would best fit for the graph or what i think is going to be easiest so if I'm personally looking at number 12, there's a couple ways I can find it easy. One, I see that there are very um, clear x-intercepts. Another one is, well, I can always do my standard y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. I can always do that. So my vertex I see is at uh, 3, 4. This is my vertex, right? My vertex is at 3, 4. Well, what's my slope? I can find that out. If Whenever I go over one, I'm going down one. So my slope, however, is a negative nelly, so my slope is negative one. My x-intercepts are one and five. So there's two ways I could write this. I could just write it y equals a, which is negative one, times x, well, minus three squared plus four, right? That's a complete possibility. Uh, that is in your vertex slope form. Another form I could do is, well, I could do y equals my uh, x-intercept form, which would be x minus 1 times x minus... x minus 5, right? Those are the two forms that you could absolutely do. So either one of these would work. Whatever you think is best and easiest. And for example, let's go to number 13. So number 13, I can easily find my vertex. So that's going to be negative 2, uh, negative 4 as my vertex. But when I'm looking at it, I can't exactly tell what's my x-intercept. They're kind of a little bit um, not as clear as the last one. But my slope is going to be what? Well, I'm going up 2 when I go over 1. 
So I know my slope is 2. I can easily fill out my y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. I can fill that out with no problem, this being my h and this being my k. So I'm going to have y equals, well, my a is a positive 2 times x minus a negative is going to be positive squared, and then k stays the same, so it's going to be negative 4. And that's all you have to do. So something like that, you guys will have to determine what is best and what would work for you best. If you like one way, okay, really stick with that way, but know if you use uh, x-intercept form, sometimes that's gonna be harder and you might need to know the other way.